Hello, welcome to Madame After Midnight. This is a podcast where we talk about life and its many pursuits of sustainable happiness. I'm your host, Madame Donut. Now, I come with a warning. Sometimes I'm hungry, sometimes I'm horny, and sometimes I'm both. And so please excuse any crazy noise I might make, okay? So um, tonight, though, I'm very excited to talk about things that make me hungry and horny and both. <laughs> with a good friend of mine, I haven't seen her in a while, but I've cooked um, dinners with her. She's amazing. I've been following her for a while now because she is just so funny. She is an amazing chef. She teaches cooking, actually. Um, but beyond beyond the teaching, like I, I love following her, her for, for her expertise in pastas and really just her humor. She always makes me laugh. So anyways, without much further ado, everybody, please welcome my friend, Miss Rosa Mariotti. <laughs> Up here. Yes, that's how are you? I am fine. <laughs> Long time no see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been um, almost like two years. Yeah. It feels it's like. It's like the corona. Yeah, I mean, we worked together in the beginning of the pandemic. We, yeah. we made um, these, what we call dinner solutions at the yes, time, where yes, we yes. come up with a menu mm -hmm. with like what's fresh, like going to the farm. And yes, stuff. Oh, I that remember. Was so that was so much fun. much fun. And then. Yeah, and then they just kind of like, died. Yeah. 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 But so we didn't, so that's good. <laughs> <laughs> that's so true. Okay, we count our blessings. Um, so, okay, so I haven't seen you in a while. What, what have you been doing lately? Anything new? I mean, I just... I am the most boring person. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> I, I so. mean, I, I apologize, guys. I mean, she insisted, but <laughs> I'm a housewife. <laughs> <laughs> kind of, yeah. But Bored. Too. <laughs> no, well, you're a housewife, but you're a blogger. I love your blogs. I am so. not been blogging lately because mm. I'm trying, I've been trying to write a cookbook for the last, what, 10 years? Yeah, 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 we've been talking about <laughs> so it. So I'm that. like Penelope. I write one chapter and then I'm like, oh, maybe I shouldn't bash this special person. So <laughs> I'm deleting it. <laughs> and it's like I pull my heart into it. It's very personal. Yeah. And so um, I have my thank yous and fuck yous. Those are the <laughs> <laughs> so that's figured out for the book. <laughs> that's the, the ending chapter. That yeah. is you set got the stone. <laughs> but in between, you know, my life stories and recipes. Yeah. So I've been writing that. Yeah. Um, I am also... Uh, getting my WSCT certification for wine and spirit so I can nice. get to drink my homework. Yay! <laughs> that's the best! God, and you must be very studious. I am good. so studious. <laughs> so right now, this week, I'm so studious that I'm on the second bottle of Cabernet Sauvignon. And you actually brought me a bottle of I wine. Yes, it's just, yeah, just, it's just uh, not yeah, ready. Just She's, like a little did. Pinot Grigio because yeah. it's Italy, right? No, thank you. And then, what am I doing? I'm working with Embellish Maui. Oh, yes, and, uh, yes, yes. She I has recently. beautiful flowers. Yes. And we do special event, small um, boutique cakes. So mm. teeny tiny, beautiful bouquet, edible bouquets. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I do the cake part, of course, That's and she awesome. does the flower arrangements. She's Great uh, designs. a yeah. flower so whisperer. Gorgeous. She yeah. does beautiful work. Wow. And we work with um, uh, Maui Picnics. Uh -huh. well, yes, yes, yes. I've collaborated with them as well. Yeah. They so, anyways, great um, what else I do? I I cook at home. I clean, yeah. wash floors. <laughs> you know, <laughs> like whatever. Like life that you are. You're like you say, yeah. Yeah. Must, must, uh, must. And then what do I do? Um, oh, uh, yes, I work uh, with Chef Dean at UHMC. Oh, nice. And we have a, a class right now where we teach Kamehameha kids some mm. life skills like uh, um, food prep. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. So, yes, <gasps> sustainable yeah. food preparation. Yeah. So these kids uh, never I'm made, like today, we made yeah. chicken pot pie from scratch with yeah. crust. Yes. They never had homemade chicken pot pie. It's so crazy because it's growing out of their and, backyards, I'm and sure. And it's so easy. Yeah. And so they only had the TV trays, so they were so excited. Last yeah. week we made biscuits, and, and they were so excited. So it's just... Uh, heartwarming to see these kids then yeah. they said oh my gosh I never have had a scone or yeah. a biscuit fresh from the oven homemade wow. and they make everything right yeah, yeah they yeah. um UHMC is so fabulous they grow their own uh, vegetables yeah. in hydroponics and tilapia yes. 
Oh wow! So I haven't get the seen the tilapia. Yeah. Yes, and the, and the kids learn how to clean the fish. Yes, oh fillet. my god, that's so and amazing! And then we cooked it. <gasps> I love it. Or so this is actually a dream class. Like this is like one of the things I've also wanted. I've talked about. Like uh, I was you doing some home cooking. Yes, I would love to on be on a Saturday because yeah. you're not busy enough. Yeah, I'm not busy enough, guys. I'm gonna go teach a class on a Saturday after I've been up all day, like the day before. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> I do it. I do it. Um, um, I, there's know, also Wednesday and Monday, so yeah. Yeah. maybe like a Wednesday and a Monday. Yes. For sure. Oh my God. So because that's the that's so, the yes. kind of. Um, uh, I think lesson, life lesson, that, or at least like they should mm -hmm. teach in school. Mm -hmm. I literally was just talking to a friend about specifically that this week, just like two, three days ago, that, you know, there's so many people who don't know how to cook for themselves. And I think that is so wild because this is one of the basic things that you need to do to survive is to eat. So you have to be able to fend for yourself. You and know, outside yes. of like eating out of canned mm -hmm. food, like you, you have to have joy and also get new traditional value out and of they get eat. so much joy yeah. they were so excited they uh. made pizza that we made pasta uh, and we made busiate and lasagna and cannolate and orecchiette uh. and they, i mean you're the so hardcore romantic. italian yeah. yes. pasta not just you know yeah oh uh, i cannot fettuccine. wait i want to yeah i want to be in that class and i'll just shadow you oh my so, gosh so yeah it, it was so much fun and they are so uh into it yeah they get really competitive and <laughs> yeah they're really really nice so it's amazing. I hope is this program a, a new program or yes, just, totally uh, new, and we hope it gets renewed next year. Oh my gosh, it should! Oh, mm -hmm. I, I actually didn't even realize that that was the the, the concept of the class mm -hmm. that you're teaching now because you also teach other courses, right? Yes, I teach best. for adults. Yeah, um, for adults. Oh, yes. I'll make it, no. maybe. <laughs> With uh, wine, this with wine. These kids cannot uh, have wine, yeah, but yeah. Uh, we, we make do. We make do. Um, <laughs> That's so, so cute. <laughs> it's like so different. These, I know. These kids, they can't I just not even wine. drink. What kind of class is this? <laughs> so these kids actually um, really love it. They are really good. And then um, we, from the fish, we butchered the fish. Yeah. Made fillets. That's amazing. And then we made stock with yeah. the fish, the bones. the bones. Yeah, awesome. And it was really, really, um, really a great story to yeah. to see them. And we used the whole yeah you know, everything. So this is kind of part of my fantasy that I'm like trying to manifest, but also like trying to find more details about how I can make it happen. Is I wanted to start like an educational garden. But basically, exactly kind of like what you're saying, just a little bit further, we're like, hey, we want to follow the story of the seed until it feeds the community, you know? So mm -hmm. just so, like, people's relationship with food, you know, that, I think that's a problem that's missing. It's, yes, right. people are so disengaged. So disengaged. Today, They're we had a guest consumer. chef. Last week, we had a guest chef from mm -hmm. Nestle, mm -hmm. and uh, was Dean's friend, and he works into developing vegan uh, recipe and vegan products. Uh -huh. So uh, we talk about the whole awareness of you know carbon footprints and yeah. diets and stuff. The, today we had a guest, a uh, farmer, local farmer, mm. and so we talk about who's your guest today? Sorry. Um, was a local farmer, uh, somebody that raises. Um, I can get you the name and some contacts later. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because I can't remember. Yeah, no, no worries. Can't yeah, remember. I, got, I, got, I just breakfast. get really excited. I love the program. Um, and so we talk about the fact that kids are so uh, detached from yeah. where food comes from. Yeah. So uh, fortunately, these kids were a skirmish at first with the fish, but yeah. now they get into it. They yeah. know that uh. the meat doesn't come on a white tray safely, yes. right? That is so, so such a great lesson. We talk about butchering and we talk about um, butchering facilities yes. here in Maui and how the process works. And if they are interested, we are willing to take them to see the whole process, wow. the USDA inspection. Yeah, I, I want to see it. I know. Yeah, we, yeah. You want to go with us yeah. on the field trip if Absolutely. that happens? Absolutely. Because the parents have to say yeah or nay, yeah. and I'm like, yeah. Oh yeah, I, I don't there have is blood a, involved. My parent doesn't have to sign anymore. Yay! Yeah. So there is <laughs> blood involved. It's crucial, yeah. but at the same time, it's it's a life cycle. Yes. It's somebody's livelihood. Mm -hmm. It's somebody's job. <sighs> Somebody gotta do it, and we all eat meat. Yeah. Absolutely. I love this program. So, yes, so it's, much. It's a, it's a, you know, tough love and yeah. hard reality. Yeah. But that's what goes yeah. behind 
the filet mignon that you get in the, yeah. the restaurant, right? And beyond like what you see, how I mean, I think everybody's a foodie now, you know. Mm -hmm. But but then it's yeah, it's great for pictures, but they still don't know where their food comes from. Exactly. It's crazy. Today I learned that some of the beef that raised on island is then shipped to Texas to be finished. Oh yeah, yeah. Like and yes. whereas his cows is Angus yeah. is totally grass finished. Yeah. So yeah, it's it's a while too because we don't have the facility to you know process there is, them. Yeah. Meat right now, but but yeah. Anyways, um, it's a fascinating process all yeah. over. Yeah. And all around and um, yeah. So that's another thing I'm doing. Uh, so the, when you say you're boring, you know you you realize that doesn't it doesn't even I have job ADD. I yeah. <laughs> the one thing but like, to five. But I, like, I, I have it to shouldn't like come in a sentence with you in it. <laughs> is what I'm saying. Boring has never been you. Uh, well, you know. <laughs> uh, so I am teaching. Maybe that by your case. standards, like you just feel like, wait a minute, how come things are not as fabulous? What's what's up? You know? No, but, no, they're never fabulous. Uh, <laughs> shut up. <laughs> you <get laughs> you're always fabulous. You get my joke. I don't know. You're always um, fabulous. So that's a very interesting project, and, and then I do uh, adult classes on pasta making or Italian traditional recipes. Yeah. Now, and do you I teach that? I in teach Maui at all in or? UHMC. I'm starting oh, next term are. in a oh, night. Cool. And then uh, I teach in Kona. Yeah. There is a fabulous cooking school. It's called the Spoon Shop, and so I go there. I'm going for the first week in December. Oh, cool. Um, and then there is another one in uh, uh, Honolulu. It's a private, and it's uh, Friends of Italy in Hawaii. Ah. They have several members, yes. and then we do a private. Um, You're class. so busy <laughs> for somebody who's like a housewife. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah. I love to travel. So yeah. you know, yes. every time they put me on a plane, I'm like, yay! Yeah, like you sneak it, like <laughs> even if it's for 40 minutes. Yeah, it's like yeah. it's part of the job. I have yes. to, you know. Yeah, I just. Love be a jet setter. And, I, and I get to see things, mm -hmm. discover new things, Absolutely. learn about products. And, uh, and since my book is centered around the Polynesian culture now, um, and the affinity with the Italian, which strange enough, there is. Yeah. And um, I also went a couple of times to French Polynesia, I learned some recipe, took some cooking classes. So I am um, more familiar with the Polynesian culture in general and food variety yeah. and traditional ah, recipes. That's so awesome. Yeah. And, um, that's so and I can do a lateral uh, comparison with the food I grew up with in yeah. India. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Um, so, okay. Since you're kind of combining your life now and uh, your life in Umbria, like Molto Ono itself, yes. like what, ha, what, where did this name come so from? So everybody knows Molto Buono. Yeah. Buono means okay. good and Ono means also yes. delicious. Yes. So I dropped the B and uh, I didn't want anything with Okina and them being, you know, cultural appropriation kind of thing. So mm. Molto Ono, simple. Yeah. And I grew up in Umbria, the green heart of Italy. It's a region in the center of Italy with no access to the sea. All the other regions have access to the Adriatic mm. Sea, to the Tyrrhenic or Mediterranean. Umbria is inside, um, surrounded not. by mountains. Yeah. The Etruscans lived there before the Romans. Uh -huh. Then when the Roman Empire came about, the Etruscans were uh, absorbed by yes. the Romans. But the Etruscans were amazing gourmands. 2,000 years ago, the Orvieto Classico, the wine, we owe it to the Etruscans. And then the Etruscans, um, where uh, started the dough concept and cooking huh. on fire and the bread, the stove yeah. top bread is Etruscan. Uh, the bancushin, the cake, you know, the, yeah. the one yeah, on the street, yes. the Romans did yes. it because the Etruscans started it. Yeah. So the Etruscans were great gourmands and then they, uh, they brought that into the Roman Empire. So, um, and they survived being isolated on starches and wild pork and pigs mm. and birds pretty much like Hawaiians. Yeah. Hawaiians, instead of being isolated by mountains, they were isolated, by, well, not isolated, they were connected by sea, but isolated. And they were surviving on uh, canoe food, like taro, mm -hmm. and you know, Starch, wild yeah. boar or yeah. per birds and stuff like that. Yeah. So that is one of the similarities. And then um, they, um, th they grew into this, big Roman Empire mm. and uh, they were uh, Stone Age um, 
meaning that when they built arches, the uh -huh. Etruscan didn't use any nails or concrete, uh -huh. just stones. Uh -huh. Wow. Like the really Nobiles well were Stone yeah, Age yeah. until the Spanish conquerors. Yeah. So there is a lot of similarities, and I was so fascinated by the whole story, and I'm writing recipe that come hail from the Etruscans and obviously are modernized and revised and, and made more yeah, local yeah yeah more palatable and uh, more contemporary and yes. relatable yeah. in a way I love your air fryer yeah yeah exactly maybe not you don't have to cook in fire all the time although I, I love cooking with fire like whenever you know like outdoor cooking yeah. oh my god mm -hmm. that's kind of my dream instead so, of an yeah. outdoor kitchen mm -hmm. just cook with fire but um Anyways, I, I got lost in the fire. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, so, so I do this, uh, all this talking, and yeah. then there is a... Uh, so it's autobiographical. Yes. So that's, that's why I have to be very careful what I say, because yeah. these people <laughs> are still alive, and ah. I want them to buy a book, and I say, oh, you're talking about me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, as long as they make it in the fucking weird thank you page. <laughs> that must have, that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> the thank you is very little. <laughs> but it's a lot. It's like three yeah. chapters. <laughs> But I don't give yeah. explanations. You don't? Oh, yes. I say this is why. Oh, cool, F U Y. Cool. Yeah. Well, maybe the book can actually be just around that. And then, like, there would be like recipes. I don't know. Who's going to buy it? <laughs> Nobody's left to buy the book. Uh -oh. I don't know. It's so funny though. <laughs> it would just be like, what this wild no, no, concept? I'll just clean up my yeah. axe before. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> just clean it up a little. But yeah, I think, well, book, I mean, I'm actually trying to write a book too, but it's kind of the same idea. It's like, which part do I, um, am I okay putting out there? Kind of like what you're saying. Yeah, like, yeah. you're kind of, mm, okay, that's too personal. Yeah. You know, but and I feel I'm like, very, you know, I'm a shy and yeah. private. I don't just, put my stuff out there yeah. so definitely I don't want to put it on a book yeah um, <laughs> but you know yeah. you gotta give a little I know it's, 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 it's your click it. juicy stuff you right? need a click a click base yeah called. and, and <laughs> also you know how did I get here from mm -hmm. being born in a little town yeah and uh, um, that's what I ask me all the time so um, it's just a natural journey for me yeah and so yeah yeah uh, i mean you're a natural like humorous writer like very witty like your captions are all they always crack me up you know you they just always crack me up and the food is beautiful so you really have this like styling down mm -hmm. i th i think so you know like it's something homey and yet like uh, it's got a lot of flair, but relatable, like you're saying, because you use a lot of it's local easy, ingredients. Yeah. You know, yes. I feel like you're very conscientious with that. Like, um, I think that a lot of people sometimes they move into a place and they're like, "Oh, this is me," and you know, which is great. Like, that's part of, uh, um, you know, a cultural exchange when you bring whatever you know you grew up with. You mm -hmm. know, but I think it's also important to root yourself and be like, and hey, this is what's here. I'm also an immigrant, it. and it's yes. natural for immigrants to bring a piece of themselves. Mm -hmm. they go. Right, right. So for me, it's easy to do pasta and bread and starches, but at the same time, I can't have, you know, flour um, flown in from Italy with a huge carbon footprint, yeah. when here I can find, a, you know, taro or purple potatoes yeah. or stuff like that and I can make gnocchi with that yeah. instead of flying yeah. flour in. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Exactly. So I can adapt yeah. and I still survive. Yeah. So there is fabulous seafood here. Um, I am only learning of more and more recipe. I don't yeah. feel at all sacrificed on what I can do. I, actually, I feel enhanced. Yeah. And I feel yeah. like everybody, every chef should come to Hawaii because there is this unique cuisine here. Um, that is nowhere to be found. Mm. Not in the Midwest, not yeah. on the East Coast. Yeah. It is just cannot but help any chef yeah. to yeah. become uh, more rounded. I think it also comes with the culture of Hawaii that, you know, it basically it's so many it's so multicultural it's a it's a hodgepodge mm -hmm. of cultures like working in you know the, sh the plantations that the culture like it's just 
so easy for another immigrant to come in and it's like, oh my gosh, like mm -hmm. you can immerse yourself in it. And I think maybe there's something welcoming about it. Yeah, you know, this, you know, yeah. And Everything is aloha, even the yeah. cuisine. Yeah. Come on, we're going to Yeah, yeah. Go. But wherever you go, yeah. whatever you have, like, put it all together. And, then and it's, yeah. um, I was purchasing, uh, what was it? Uh, oxtail ragu. Mm. And there was one last package somewhere. And there was this uh, lady, obviously Filipina. She goes, I'm going to take it. I'm like, really? I want it. And, so she goes, where are you from? Like, I didn't deserve it because it's a typical Filipino food. I'm like, yeah. are you kidding me? Kodalama Chinara, we invented it in Rome. Ah. So we start talking about the way she did it, the way I did it. So food brings people together. Yes. Food is a common ground. Food yeah. makes people happy. Yeah, or and hungry and horny. Or hungry yeah. and horny. I'm, I'm <laughs> past the horny because, you know, I'm too old. But no, never. Happy, I'm always. And happy hungry, always. you can tell, that never skip a meal. <laughs> so, yes. So look at it. Don't I look like it? No, everything <laughs> tastes like you it. are fabulous. <laughs> <laughs> so. Anyways, yeah, but that's a lot, and and you know, I, I love it when you say, "I'm like, oh, my life's been boring lately." And I then, know. And I then feel like you, I'm so boring. Oh my god, you are so, so mundane. <laughs> mundane. <laughs> Far from mundane. Mundane. Go to bed at seven. <laughs> <laughs> <It's just> like, <laughs> Well, it's also because Mavi doesn't really have much open after seven, right. so it's like that's my okay. story. I'm sticking to. Yeah. It. Uh, yeah, yeah, me too. I mean, I should don't really go and out. Then much I get up early. I really love yeah. the early mornings in yeah. Maui. Yeah. I just woke up from a nap, and oh, you know, it's but I have a, the weirdest body clock. I know. You know, so it's like, oh, I can sneak in a nap. You're like an energized bunny. They want to. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> it takes me like ten minutes. If you gave me a ten minute freaking nap, it's like whoa. Like, yeah, it's kind of insane actually. I I was actually thinking that like. I posted something about a chicken because I roasted this chicken and I was like, I'm going to eat this whole thing. And I laugh at myself. It's like, holy shit. Like, sometimes I, w I forget to eat because I'm working such long hours. But when I eat, it's like, it's like a feast and it's just me. And I would like make a, like a beautiful, like multi-layered dish. And then like, oh, wait, and then that's done. <laughs> I was like, how much I do. But I don't even know how it feels like, like to forget. <laughs> I don't think it ever happened to me. I'm like, I'm no, just thing inside says, don't forget. <laughs> but like, I love your cooking. So we, you and I should get together and, and cook yes, again soon. But pasta. I'm really very interested in the courses that you're teaching. Yes. So yeah, I want to be involved in that program. Yes, so yeah, talk to oh. Dean and we can yeah. have you as a guest chef and yeah. talk about what you do, how you go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but talk about people will like it. Kids will like it. Oh my God, I would, I would love that. So yes. Anyways, I know that you actually have a dinner <laughs> reservation <laughs> elsewhere. Oh, so date. I snuck her out of her dinner date. And but yeah, so thank you so much, Rosa. It's so always great thank to you. see you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And guys, if you're watching us on YouTube, we'll be back again next Monday at 9:01 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time. Thank you again for joining us. See you next week. Aloha. Aloha.